Well, I smell another guitar project. Let's start unboxing. This little care package that I got from Guitar Anatomy, there's a few different items in here that will all ultimately end up in my new guitar build. So I'm excited, let's open up the box. Now for those of you that have been participating in my live Sunday shows, you know that I've been aiming to make another guitar. And so if you're not participating in my Sunday shows, you're missing out on a lot of live conversation. So I highly recommend recommend you guys tune in. They happen every Sunday 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and you basically are in for a good hour or two of good gear chat. So if you're into gear that's the place to be. So I mentioned on my live show that I normally like to keep my guitar builds for the winter because winter is kind of dreary, boring, nothing much to do, nothing too exciting, you know. So what better way to pass the time than to build a new guitar? So I reached out to the good people over at Guitar Anatomy. Cameron over there hooked me up with some uh, parts that I need to build this guitar and I'm gonna share that with you today. Of course, another Telecaster is exactly what the doctor ordered to, you know, chase away the winter blues. A beautiful matte, classic white finish. I decided to go with this Telecaster build because I'm really partial to the nitro um, type bodies and I like this type of uh, matte finish because it's thin. It looks like it's already a little bit aged and it'll age even nicer as time goes on. The body is made of alder. So alder is a nice type of wood to use for guitar builds. It's not typically extremely heavy. So for those of you that are, don't want to have an overly, uh, you know, heavy guitar body, alder is a good starting point. Very durable, very solid, and has some nice resonance as well. This guitar body has all the appointments, string through body, as you can see there. All the holes are drilled and uh, all you really have to do is put it together. Uh, I'm really happy with the finish on this guitar, guys. It looks really sexy. Can you see that? Can you take a look? Behold what a nice body this is. This is going to make a really nice build because I like the finish when it's a thin finish like this because it ages so nicely. They have the Guitar Anatomy sticker in the back here. And to go along with this body, we're going to have a few other things that we need. So let's get and have a look at that. Now, Guitar Anatomy, for you guys that are not familiar with them, basically have a whole bunch of parts that you can order from them and put your guitars together. They basically have everything that you need. So it's a kind of like a one-stop shop for guitar builders. So I decided to order a body and a neck to go along with it. And um, so let's see. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas when you're opening up these kind of things. Um, now this neck is a paddle neck. So that means that the headstock is not cut. And I ordered that specifically because I'm gonna figure out how I want it to be stylized. Maybe I'll go with a typical Telecaster headstock. Maybe I'll go with something a little bit different, but it leaves it open to options. So this neck, really nice looking neck, as you can see here, is roasted maple. Really sexy, nice feeling roasted maple. Can you see the back of that, guys? No skunk stripe on this. Uh, the truss rod is here. Beautiful grain, I have to say. The grain on the back of the headstock and the front of the headstock is really nice. Uh, I'm happy to see that the nut is already installed and it looks to be like it's a bone nut. Um, and this neck has jumbo frets. Nice fat looking frets, maple back, but a beautiful rosewood front, nice and dark, really nice. It's got the extra fret there, so you have the overhang in the back. And extremely nice 
workmanship, nicely cut, nicely carved, no blemishes, beautiful feel on this neck. Now I decided to go with the satin finish on the neck just because I feel that these satiny finishes are great. Just finish them lightly with some wax and uh, they just feel wonderful in your hands. I have to say the curvature on this neck feels really nice. Not really fat at all, but has a nice rounded um, just profile to it. Um, and I'm looking at the finishing on the frets. They seem immaculate. Maybe I won't even have to do a fret level on this. The unfinished headstock basically means that you can decide what kind of profile you want to give it. And yeah, sure, maybe you want to stay typical Telecaster, but some of you out there might want to try some different shapes or maybe make the headstock unique to your own since it doesn't have a uh, headstock decal on it. It could be your custom build, make it what you wish. Um, overall, I'm really pleased, I have to say. So far, I'm really uh, happy with the quality that I'm seeing here, especially the really dark finish on the neck, the fact that the frets are jumbo like this and finished really nicely on the edges. No fret sprout at all. I think this is gonna make a really nice guitar, guys. So of course, you know, I have to see how the two parts fit together because that is, you know, number one, that you have a good snug fit. Wow. I thought it wasn't gonna go in, but it's cut perfectly. Wow, really nice fit. Super snug. Fits wonderfully, look at this, wow. And you know what? The neck and the body put together is pretty light. I'm gonna have to give you the weight on that, but it's, it's extremely light. I'm actually very surprised. Sure, all the rest of the hardware is not on it. I still have to put pickups and everything, but already I can tell that this guitar might be a little lighter than, than usual. Interesting, all right. So far, so good. Nice fit on the neck, and that is usually what I'm mostly concerned about. All right, let's put that aside, and uh, let's go to the next, the next little envelope here. Now, as I mentioned, you can get everything you need from them, including, you know, things like the screws that you'll need. You have the little, all the different, uh, types of screws, so you have screws for pickups, you have string ferrules, you have, uh, you know, the screws that you'll need to be able to mount the pickups, etc, etc. So everything that you pretty much need is there. Uh, I went ahead and also ordered a pick guard, and the pick guard comes nicely packaged in a really nice sturdy envelope so it doesn't get cracked or anything like that. So I decided to go with something a little different. A pick guard that is sort of like a um, tortoise shell pick guard, but instead of being straight black or gray, it's sort of this funky pattern. So I'm wondering what you guys think once it's all put together, how it's going to look. I can give you a little preview on that. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? As opposed to straight black, you know, just to get something a little bit more funky in there. Looks pretty cool so far. And of course, you can't really put a guitar together without pickups. And um, the guys over at Guitar Anatomy have uh, a set, well, they have their own line of pickups. Uh, called Fuzzy Duck Pickups. And um, they, they give you a card that says, thank you for choosing Fuzzy Duck Pickups, uh, balanced, quality checked, and they just give you the name of the person that actually checked the pickups. And here we have a neck and a bridge pickup. And uh, you can see, I'll just bring it up to the camera here. You can see the base plate there, the fuzzy duck emblem that is engraved uh, in the back of the pickups. You can see the front of the pickups here. The pickups 
the, the, the poles on the pickups are not staggered, they're flat. You have the vintage braided wire, very nice. Looks like pretty solid pickups if I don't say so myself. Let's look at what we have here for the neck pickup as well. And here you go with a view of the neck pickup, same vintage braid, braided wire. You also have the fuzzy duck emblem there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little gold duck and you can see the back of the pickup as well. Now the Fuzzy Duck Gold Series Telecaster pickups use Alnico 5 magnets, handmade to vintage specs, and the price point on these pickups are extremely affordable, so it's a good option for any of you that want to do a guitar build on a budget. So if you're interested in checking out these parts from Guitar Anatomy, including the awesome bodies and necks that they have, as well as the, uh, the pickups, the inexpensive uh, pickups seem like they're good quality. Uh, we'll finally see what they sound like once they're in the guitar build and we finally get to hear it. But so far, everything seems to be quite well put together, nicely put together, good quality components uh, from what I can tell and uh, should make an outstanding build. If you're interested in buying anything from them, they ship throughout the UK as well as other parts of the world. My only uh, little caveat to all of this is that you want to order ra rather quickly because they go out of stock very fast. There's a lot of great quality parts and components as I mentioned. The prices are very reasonable so there's you know a lot of demand. So if you're interested in picking something up and perhaps building one of your own guitars this winter then I would say do it as quickly as you can before the parts are out of stock. This is a preview of some of the parts. They're not all here. We still need a bridge. We still need tuners uh, and a few other accessories, and to, including the uh, control cavity, wiring, and whatnot. So I'm going to be putting all of that hardware together to be able to build this guitar and I wanted to do the build with you. So we're going to share that experience right here on Addicted to Gear. I'm going to be building it as we go and showing you part of the process. And if any of you have considered building a guitar, but maybe don't have the courage to do it, I want to show you that it's not as hard as you think it might be, especially if you start off with good quality parts. So a big shout out to the guys over at Guitar Anatomy, specifically Cameron, for shipping out these parts to me so quickly. Cameron, I'm really excited. I'm going to be putting this kit together quickly and uh, giving you the play-by-play -play, uh, along with everyone else that is subscribed to my channel so you'll see what the final results of this build will be. I'm excited to get the project started and hopefully you guys will enjoy the process as well. So if you're interested in learning how to put together your own Telecaster style guitar, stay tuned to Addicted to Gear. Hit the little subscribe button and specifically tune into our Sunday shows where I might be giving you guys a little bit of behind the scenes information as to how the guitar is progressing. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and are excited for me to start this new build. Stay tuned or you'll be missing out on all the play by play. See you soon.